Before we start this video, I want to just let you guys know, Stephen is fine. He's chilling here right with me right now, and it's 11 p.m. <laughs> he doesn't leave the roof in the summer, he stays here the entire day, most of the night, and then just goes home for a little sleep and then does it the same the next day. I'm not sure what I would have titled this video because I don't want anyone thinking anything happened to Stephen. But there is some bad news. I, I think Glenn might have died. There's been a lot of bird flu going around recently. I was on a run the other day and it was like two miles along the beach. I think I've seen about a hundred just dead. Seagulls, other birds. Like, <laughs> I don't know many other birds, honestly, but just different birds. Loads of washed up dead birds along the coast. Bird flu just seems to be like really big at the moment between the birds and a lot of them seem to be dying. And I think that's what I got Glenn. Glenn was always the one that was kind of like, Ugh, oh, Glenn, why are you here? But I never actually hated Glenn. I really liked Glenn. He was funny. He looked just different. Stephen and Glenn, they're not like the other seagulls. They look so much different. They've got so much character. So for the past two days, I've known this. I, I took a picture of Glenn because I noticed he hadn't really left the nest for a couple of days. He was just kind of lying still. He wasn't coming over asking for any. He was just there. Yeah, it was like the following day, I noticed he's still just there. And it looks like the babies are like walking all over him. They're like just standing on him. I took a picture, zoomed in, and he looks like he's just lying on his back. Like, neck flopped over, not moving, dead. But I thought maybe he's just like sick or sleeping in a weird way. Like, I, th I don't know. My dog sleeps on his back. Never seen a bird do it though. <laughs> but, um,. I always want to make like an entertaining nice video, but this, this just isn't one. Later that night, like yesterday, I took another picture. Like eight hours later, same position, flopped over neck, not moving. The same. And today, I took another picture. The same, but looks deflated. It looks even just more dead than he was. So, I think that's what's happened. Glenn's died. Steven's still doing great though. <laughs> I feel so bad for him and the babies because they don't know what's going on that he's just he's not like he's been run over and or attacked and died that way he's just in the nest just died in his sleep and Stephen and the babies are still sleeping in the nest they're just walking all over him and Stephen does look a bit anxious sometimes like I've noticed he's been kind of like pacing around the body quite a lot and seagulls mate for life. It's just so sad. <laughs> so I think what I'm gonna do, I messaged Julia at Bird Aid and she said that I should probably take care of the body. I should go get it and I should bury it somewhere because one, Stephen could maybe eat it and get sick with whatever Glenn had or um, it can kind of decompose and then crows can start swooping at it trying to get him. And if crows are like swooping at the nest, then like maybe they'll go for the babies as well if Steven's not there because, you know, they can't take shifts and like protect the babies. It's just Steven now. It's quite lucky that he has me and I can just give him all the food that he needs and then he can just get back to protecting the babies. I really hope Steven doesn't catch it. He seems fine. He seems just as like chirpy as ever. <laughs> so I think later tonight I'm gonna get a ladder, which I've got in my car, and then I'm gonna go get Glenn's body. And then tomorrow we're gonna go on a little drive and we'll bury him somewhere nice. Stephen, do you want some tuna?
I've just driven an hour and a half into the middle of nowhere and I have no idea what I'm doing. I've got a spade in the back, I've got Glenn, Glenn in the boot. I need to go find a place for him. It's, it's on one of the worst days as well, it's so windy, it's so cold. It was a nice drive though. It feels weird filming in my car, like I've never filmed in my car. I didn't have a car when I started feeding Steven. I feel like such a grown up. I've got a watch on. <laughs> my life has changed. I am a different person. I also thought it was quite fitting to come out to, I'm not sure where this is. It's Glen She or Glen Isla, kind of in between the two. Burying Glen in a Glen. <laughs> I'm not really too sure what I'm looking for here. I've never had to bury something. Sorry, Mum. Thank you. 